When it comes to breaking speed records, the world of automotive engineering has always been a place where innovation and ambition meet. For decades, we've watched the race to push the limits of speed, from the early days of land speed records to the modern supercars that dominate the roads today. But now, there's a new frontier being pursued. The first 500 mph car. Could a car actually reach this blistering speed? And if so, what would it take to make it a reality? To understand what it would take to reach 500 mph, we need to look at the history of land speed records. For much of the 20th century, land speed records were dominated by vehicles that combined raw power with extreme engineering. The first true land speed record was set by Sir Malcolm Campbell in 1924, who reached a speed of 146.16 mph in his vehicle Bluebird. From there, the race to break the 200, 300, and 400 mph marks began. One of the most iconic milestones in this battle for speed was set by Thrust SSC, a car driven by Andy Green in 1997. Thrust SSC became the first car to break the sound barrier, reaching an astounding speed of 763 mph, which still stands as the world record today. This history shows that achieving extraordinary speeds on land is not only possible, but has been done with impressive technology. But hitting 500 mph would require a different level of innovation altogether. Let's break down the science, the technology, and the challenges involved in reaching this new goal. To understand the challenges of hitting 500 mph, it's important to consider the basic principles of physics and how they affect the car's speed. One of the most significant hurdles to breaking speed records is aerodynamics. As a car accelerates, air resistance, or drag, increases exponentially. The faster the car goes, the harder it is to maintain speed because more energy is needed to overcome this resistance. At 500 mph, the drag on the car would be immense, requiring a vehicle that is not only incredibly powerful, but also incredibly streamlined. Currently, vehicles like Thrust SSC have very specific designs optimized for low drag at extreme speeds. For instance, Thrust SSC was essentially a jet-powered car with a fuselage design that minimizes drag and helps keep the car stable at high speeds. To break the 500 mph barrier, the vehicle would need to have an even more advanced aerodynamic design, possibly leveraging new materials or technologies to reduce drag even further. The heat generated by friction between the tires and the road at speeds approaching 500 mph would be catastrophic. Currently, the tires on land speed vehicles like Thrust SSC are specially designed for high speed use and are constructed from special materials that can withstand extreme conditions. Even at 763 mph, the tires were at their limits, which is why Thrust SSC was designed to run on a flat desert surface with minimal friction. To reach 500 mph, engineers would have to develop tires that can handle even greater forces without disintegrating or catching fire. The materials used in tire construction would need to be revolutionized to ensure they could endure the incredible stresses and heat generated at such extreme speeds. At these high speeds, vehicle stability becomes a massive concern. The forces acting on the car would be unlike anything ever experienced by a normal vehicle. The car would have to remain perfectly stable at all times to avoid tipping over, losing control, or crashing. This is why many land speed vehicles have a three-wheel design, with the rear wheels providing the main propulsion force and the front wheels offering minimal guidance, creating a much more stable platform. For a car to achieve 500 mph, the balance in aerodynamics would need to be perfected. The vehicle's center of gravity, weight distribution, and overall design would all need to be carefully considered to ensure that the car remains stable under these extreme conditions. While the challenges are immense, technology is evolving at a rapid pace. So what kind of technology would be required to hit 500 MPA?
Cars that break land speed records are often powered by jet engines or rockets. The Thrust SSC, for example, was powered by two afterburning Rolls-Royce Spey turbofan engines, similar to those found on military jets. These engines provide the necessary thrust to push the vehicle to speeds beyond what a traditional car engine could achieve. To reach 500 mph, engineers would likely need to employ even more advanced propulsion systems. This could involve hybrid jet rocket engines, using the power of both jet engines and rocket boosters to provide a combined thrust capable of achieving such speeds. Rocket-powered cars, like the Bloodhound SSC, have already attempted speeds in excess of 1,000 mph, and it's clear that rockets can offer a level of power that traditional car engines can't match. One of the keys to making a 500 mph car possible is the weight of the vehicle. Current land speed vehicles, like Thrust SSC, are incredibly lightweight to minimize the energy required to accelerate to such extreme speeds. Engineers rely heavily on titanium, carbon fiber, and other lightweight, high-strength materials to construct the body of these vehicles. As technology advances, new materials will likely be developed that offer even more strength and lower weight, allowing engineers to build vehicles that are both faster and more durable. These materials could also help improve the vehicle's safety, ensuring that the car remains intact even if something goes wrong during the high-speed run. When a car is traveling at speeds like 500 mph, the control systems become critical. The car would need to be equipped with advanced stability systems, including computerized control of aerodynamics, active suspension systems, and even autonomous systems that can make split-second decisions to keep the car stable. These systems could adjust the car's aerodynamics in real time to compensate for changing wind speeds, tire wear, and road conditions. While the thought of a 500 mph car may seem like science fiction, some engineers and companies are already setting their sights on breaking the 500 mph barrier. The Bloodhound LSR project, for example, is one such venture aiming to break the 1000 mph mark with a rocket-powered car. While their goal is significantly higher than 500 mph, it demonstrates the potential for land-speed vehicles to reach unprecedented velocities. The Bloodhound LSR is designed to be powered by a jet engine and a rocket, and its team is using cutting-edge engineering to push the boundaries of speed. In addition, Richard Noble, the man behind Thrust SSC's land speed record, is involved in the Bloodhound project and has expressed confidence that speeds beyond 500 mph are not just possible, but achievable with the right combination of technology and innovation. The quest for the 500 mph car is undeniably ambitious, but it is not out of the realm of possibility. With continuous advancements in propulsion technology, materials science, and engineering, a car that can reach 500 mph might just be the next frontier in the world of speed records. However, achieving this milestone will require overcoming monumental engineering challenges, pushing the limits of technology, and perhaps even redefining what we think is possible in automotive performance. The dream of the 500 mph car may not be too far off, but only time will tell when, and if, we will see this incredible feat come to life. As the quest for 500 mph accelerates, we can't overlook the growing influence of artificial intelligence and automation in this field. In recent years, the integration of AI in automotive design and performance has become more prevalent, offering solutions that were once thought impossible. AI-driven systems can monitor and adjust various aspects of the car in real time, such as aerodynamics, tire pressure, and even the car's overall balance. For a vehicle traveling at speeds nearing 500 mph, even the slightest change in wind speed or tire wear can have drastic consequences. AI can play a pivotal role in constantly adjusting and optimizing these factors to ensure maximum performance and stability. Furthermore, AI could be utilized in the design phase of the car's development, analyzing vast amounts of data to optimize the car's shape, weight distribution, and materials. 
With AI's ability to run simulations and create highly accurate models, engineers can predict how the car will perform under extreme conditions, making the entire process of reaching 500 mph much more efficient. In addition to aiding in design and optimization, AI could help manage the car's active suspension systems, which are critical for maintaining stability at such high speeds. Through machine learning algorithms, AI could learn how to handle various challenges like sudden gusts of wind or changes in road surface conditions, constantly adjusting the car's suspension in real time to ensure maximum control and stability. The future of 500 MPH vehicles may very well involve a significant role for AI and automation, working hand-in-hand -hand with human engineers to break barriers and achieve speeds once thought to be the stuff of dreams. The possibility of AI-driven control systems could be the key to unlocking the next level of speed. While the road to 500 MPA is long and fraught with challenges, it's a goal that might one day be achieved with the right combination of cutting-edge technology, materials, and innovative design. Whether it's powered by jet engines, rockets, or a combination of both, the 500 MPH car is a tantalizing vision for the future of speed. And for those who love pushing the limits of what's possible, this pursuit is one that will continue to inspire engineers and enthusiasts alike for years to come. The race to 500 MPH is just beginning, and the question isn't whether it's possible, it's when it will happen.